You're still watching the news at 10. It's time to take a look at the latest from the world of sports. The Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Scheibel, led the O State to our gold medal win on day 10 of the National Sports Festival with a 3-2 victory against Lagos State in the men's football final on Monday. And it was double celebration for Edo State as the women's football team also won a gold in the football final. TV Sports correspondent Emmanuel Akindibua has more details of these and other events. The high point on day 10 at the National Sports Festival was the football event and both Team Lagos and Team Edo had a score to settle in both the men's and the women's final. Earlier in the day, Team Lagos lost to Edo in some very, very interesting circumstances with Team Lagos protesting some poor decision making by the referee and that sets a great tone for the men's final which was held at the University of Benin Sports Complex. <laughs> Filled with excitement at the team's performance, Deputy Governor Shaibu says the victory is for all participants at the Games. As far as I'm concerned, uh, Edo won 3-2, but actually Lagos and Edo won. Because this uh, festival is a unity festival. And we are showing love for each other. And that is what we have just shown. So for us, yes, we have the gold medal. But both Lagos and Edo actually distinguished themselves. Earlier in the day, the Minister of Youth and Sports Development Sunday Dari visited the handball final between Team Kano and Team Lagos. Speaking with TVC News, Dari explained that the festival has lived up to expectation as a tool for national integration and unity. Dari said the Games will continue to be an inspiration for talent development in Nigeria and that Nigeria's Olympic preparation has received a boost with the Games. This National Sports Festival will continue to serve as a tool for national unity. You look at some of the teams. From Kano, you have Igbos, you have Hausas, you have Yorubas forming part of the team from Kano. You go to Oyo, you have Igbos, you have Hausas, Yorubas, people from different ethnic groups forming a team. I think that is the lesson for this country. Elsewhere, former Director General of the Nigerian Sports Commission, Dr. Amos Adamu, has praised the Adoste government for investing in world-class infrastructure for the Games. The stadium is a state-of-the-art stadium that every athlete will want to compete inside. Either you are playing football or you are in athletics or you are in, uh, in uh, field events, the stadium is fine. If you go to the gym, it's fine. The stadium is fantastic. Team Delta continues to lead the medal stable ahead of Old State, Edo, Bielsa, Rivers and Lagos. Emmanuel Akindobua, TVC News, Benin City, Edo State.